What's up, guys? It is Jay Beeps here, and welcome to another episode of the New York Giants rebuild. If you remember, last episode, we didn't do too, didn't do too bad, didn't do too good. We're just kind of, kind of in the middle of just kind of everything that's going on right now. But the scouting department is continuing to pump out some absolutely some absolute studs at in their respective positions. I mean, we're, we're drafting players that we don't even need. We're just looking for Oh, you have first round talent? Welcome to the team. Oh, you could be a solid backup for a couple of years, then a nice cheap alternative in the future. Come on, join the team. Don't be shy, what are you waiting for? Like, I don't even care, I, I mean, I don't even care what position we're drafting anymore, I'm just drafting. All right, what players are up eligible for upgrades? Xavier McKinney, nice, both are safeties. Dwayne Morgan, D tackle. He's been he's been increasing in overall pretty good amount recently. Yes, Jabril. Look at that. 89 overall. Man is a unit. Let me tell you that. Alright, hopefully we can beat the six and six Bengals. That would put us to eight and five, which is I hope. I check the division standings after this game. All right, so we were we won 34-13, top of the division, and we're the four seed. Okay, mm. would obviously like to be higher, but we're in the playoffs. That's <laughs> that's one of the most important things. All right, yep, let's upgrade Blake Martinez. Unfortunately, his career is starting to dwindle down with us. However, we do have a very solid, promising young core of linebackers to replace him. Coach XP. Uh, we need like 30 more XP. Because it's also imperative that we have our tight ends start getting better because... I mean, Evan Ingram got hurt again. He seems to be hurt a rather unfrequent amount, which is not something that is good. Because, believe it or not, I like for my players to be healthy and playing. Now we're just going through drafting, scouting, scouting some players. I don't think we'll take, but it'd just be nice to have information on them. So, week fifteen against the Saints. Hopefully we can win. Hopefully we. I would ideally like to win out and secure a two seed. One seed I don't think is obtainable, but we did beat the Panthers. Who are the one seed? So it, it it is possible that throughout all of this, we've beaten Top Dog, and that's really what we that's really all we could ask for at this point. Isaac Yidom going up in overall. Jason Anthony. It was really like a Ryan Chazier player. He's increasing. Tight end Caden Smith going up. That's what we really like to see because we are lacking a tight end right now because Evan Ingram is hurt. Tight 
hits one of our backup line outside linebackers getting an upgrade. I only I like it. I'm only keeping him because he he designated number is number two, and I think that's pretty cool. Savage of you to do as a as a linebacker, just wear number two. Really, I think anybody who wears a single digit, that's pretty cool. And Saquon Barkley is a 99 overall. Like this is literally the perfect team. Like we're an 84 overall in general, but we have amazing, amazing players. And just like that, we have maxed out all of the training boosts for every position. All right, who's their D tackle? Grady Jarrett. Um, let's commit to neutralizing him. They're four and ten. Should be able to find a way around him. All right, scouting college players again. We're just gonna go. We're going to go down to the fourth round. I think this time, right? Yeah, go to the fourth round. Oh wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Our one second overall pick is that's a high second. I forget who we traded with. I mean, that's that's a high, really high second and a high fifth. This that that makes things a little bit more interesting. I'll say that. I mean, realistically, that opens up loads of options. Another thing is that's really annoying is we don't need we don't need many players. We don't need positions. We just need overall. And it's tough finding that because it's like, oh well, we I mean, we could have too many good middle linebackers, which I think might be the case. Yep, they're able to win twenty-four to twenty-one. Yep, nice XP boost for the O line. It's just not clinched the division yet. Yeah, Cowboys are 9-6, right on our tail. How are we going to handle Chase Young? Let's just commit to neutralizing him. Yeah, let's just run away from Chase Young. It's not that hard to do. Thankfully, Washington seems to have fallen off a cliff. Because you guys remember from the previous episodes, they went to the Super Bowl multiple times. Like, Washington was like the team to beat at one point. But now it looks like they're not. Yeah, Dwayne Haskins is our backup QB. And at one point throughout this entire series, I was looking to trade Daniel Jones to have Haskins start when he was a 68 overall. Because I was just sick and tired of Daniel Jones. But now we've got Mullen, who's a beast. A full-on certified beast. All right, let's check out the playoff picture currently. So we're still the three seeds. So I, don't, I think. Oh sh wait, we have to win this to stay in because the Cowboys aren't even. The Cowboys aren't even in the playoffs right now. Well, that just changed the mood. That just really changed the mood. I just went from like, oh yeah, this, you know, this would be a nice easy win, you know, we'll do pretty well. And you know, we just gotta win this game, clinch the division, and we're in. Now it's, uh, we, we have to, we like legitimately have to win-win. Like if we don't, if we don't like win-win, we're, we're toast. We're gone. Done. End of the road. No more wins. Oh. Look at that. Perfect scouting. Yeah, and there's all the right, the, the mess of the entire right guards in this draft class. Uh, this is big, big, big game. It's at home as well, so we should, at home against the division rival for a chance to go back to the playoffs with this team should win. We lost. 
but we're in the playoffs. Does that mean the Cowboys lost as well? No, they won. We ended up the threes. We didn't. We didn't move at all. So did the rest of the teams lose, and we just won at the right time? Uh, okay. Oh. What? JJ Watt might be done, but if I sign him to a two-year contract, <laughs> he can't leave. But 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 we need him. We, we can't lose JJ Watt. It's been one of the main reasons why this defense has become so good. Once he came, everything started going better. So we gotta win it for JJ. We have got to win the Super Bowl for JJ Watt. So that is, sorry guys, but that's gonna conclude this episode. The playoffs deserve the entire episode themselves. If you have enjoyed, make sure you subscribe. And if you and if you want to stay tuned to see how that goes, you should subscribe. And until then, it is Jay Biebs signing off.